Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make this shutter symbol. Let's open a new document, select the artboard tool and choose the show center mark from the top. First we will draw a shutter ring. Select the ellipse tool, change the stroke to none and the fill to red. Then click in the center and holding down the shift and alt keys draw a circle. Next, we will make a smaller circle on top of this one. To do that, press the letter S for the scale tool and press Enter. Type 85 for the uniform and click Copy. Before we make a shutter ring, let's copy the inner circle and save it for later. Press the Ctrl and C buttons on your keyboard to copy it and Ctrl F to paste it in front. Now let's change the fill to none and the stroke to white. Then open the stroke panel and change its weight to 3 points. Go to layers, open the sub layers and rename this layer. Let's type white stroke. Now lock it and turn off its visibility. Next select both red circles. Go to Pathfinder and choose minus front. And we've got an outer ring. In the next few steps we will draw shutter blades. First let's change the fill to black. Then select the polygon tool. Click in the center, hold and drag. While dragging your mouse press the shift key as well to constrain it. Now release the mouse and then release the key. Next we will rotate it 90 degrees. Press the letter V to select it and hover your mouse over this corner. Now holding down the shift key rotate it. When you see the negative 90 in this little grey box release your mouse. Now select the rectangle tool and draw a long and narrow rectangle starting at this anchor point. Make sure to extend it to the red circle. Now press the left arrow key on your keyboard a few times to move it to the left just a little bit. Next we will rotate it and make additional copies. Press the letter R for the rotate tool and holding down the ALT key click in the center to set the rotation point. Type 60 for the angle and click copy. Now press Ctrl D several times to make additional copies. With this rectangle still selected, press and hold the Shift key and select all the other rectangles and the polygon. Now go to Pathfinder and choose Unite. Next we will delete the parts that are covering the red circle. First select both shapes and then go to the Shape Builder tool. Let's change the fill to red. Now draw a line across the black parts that you want to delete and do the same with the other parts. With the Shape Builder tool still selected we will change the color of the center parts to white. First select the white color and then click on the shape. And we will change the shutter's blades to black. First select black color and then click on each blade to change its color. Now let's make the white stroke layer visible. If you wish your center shape to be transparent, just hide this layer. Let's undo it. And finally remove the center mark and if you like you can add text. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.